but it's really important, especially in this speed. Coming immediately after the chord, so I have to jump from here. Hello, hello guys, happy Wednesday. Welcome back to another Eva's practice room. Today I have a really special and fun piece prepared for practicing. It's a popular Andalus traditional song uh, called El Vito. I actually already recorded this piece and I have a music video on my channel, you can check it out. But it's been a long time since I revised the piece and uh, I would like to keep it in my uh, repertoire as an encore or um, maybe for future recordings. So yes, I'm going to practice it today to revise it a little. I think it's really important and good to have our old repertoire um, revised from time to time because we never know when we're gonna need it. And also I'm in a mood for a fun piece like this, so let's go. For this practice session, I will have to put the scores on the floor or on the bed. I will see where I can fit it. so rest stroke. The fact that we're having only one melody uh, makes more sense if we have a really really loud sound uh, and apoyando or rest stroke of course uh, is made for that so it's gonna have a better projection which is the goal here. So let's go once more from the beginning yes. take care of the bases so I am stopping all the bases I'm not making them uh, last until the end and I think it's more effective that way it's more articulated So let's go right to the part that was a little unstable and secure was, I think... Uh... Yeah, what is really important here is to stop the sound with our left hand. So um... basically like we are already preparing for what is next and we are stopping the, the chord that was previously really sounding loudly. So it's not the easiest thing, but it has to be practiced a little but it's really important, especially in this speed. Once more, right, uh, right from that part. I think it's here now. 
No, before. Once more from the beginning, but let's include metronome now. All right, I mixed up something in the right hand, fingering was not good. Once more.
This is how I played it at the end. So, um, yeah, I will practice a little slower. Okay, a little gymnastics. to go back to the first part without um, stopping so we have this um, me 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 <laughs> um, that is uh, like coming immediately after the chord so I have to jump from here this like really big jump I have to prepare okay I have to relax 
relax the hand. Better. And so on. Okay, I'm not that speedy now. And so on. Yeah, okay. for example are not so equal so I have to fix that I will do it later but for apoyando for the rest stroke it's really good if you have really similar nails I mean for everything is good for tremolo also for example but um, yeah this is too long and not that equal so it makes me even more trouble when I, when I want to play fast nice okay uh, okay, the second part is not that difficult. Once more. Precise always. Precise, precise, mm, better, can be better from here. Mm. Oh my god, guys, do you hear a difference between apoyando and tirando? This is like a really big difference. This is tirando. Squeezing the notes, I didn't see them, but we have chords at the end. Uh, I forgot which ones. Let's practice that. So I'm preparing my fingers as I'm going to the place. So in the air, I'm really having them. Position. Um, yeah, okay, so hmm. a little unclean. Okay, 
Okay, it's gonna be better. <laughs> this piece really cheers me up every time I play. Thank you so much guys for watching another episode. If this video was helpful or entertaining, please consider subscribing and leave me a like and a comment. See you guys tomorrow, join the 30 days challenge. Uh, you can check it out if you don't know what it is about. So if this is the first video you guys are watching, then check the previous ones and also there is more coming up. And I wish you all a nice day. All right, bye.